Hi geeks, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. I have a lot of goodies and some reviews during the grocery haul, so stick around and wait till the end because there's also a bonus Costco grocery haul. Starting off with the produce that I got for the week, tiger figs and fresh figs are still in season so I couldn't decide between the two and I picked up both. And I just realized that I picked up an expired box of tiger figs, but they looked okay, so hopefully they'll taste okay also. And I want to show you guys what it looks like inside. So inside it looks pretty much the same as a black fig. In terms of flavor, they taste very similar, pretty much identical, except that the tiger figs taste slightly sour but they're both very sweet when they're ripe. And you can tell that they're ripe when they feel kind of soft and mushy on the outside. There's like a short window of time to really enjoy them, which is when it's like soft and slightly mushy. And if it's still firm to touch, just let it soften and ripen. Wait for a couple of days and it should be ready. And the difference really is pretty much the price. And so if I had to choose, I'd go for the black figs because they are sweeter. I picked up some pineapple tidbits for a smoothie and also picked up the dark pitted uh, cherries. These are so good. It just depends on the time of the year. Sometimes they're super sweet and sometimes they don't have as much flavor, but again, it really just depends on the time of the year. This along with the frozen wild blueberries are my favorite frozen fruit because they just are so sweet. And I didn't pick up the blueberries because I still have a bag in the freezer. And you guys, parsnips are back. I'm so excited. Parsnips are seasonal, at least at my Trader Joe's, and it is so yummy. It's like up there with delicata squash. Well, maybe not, but they are pretty good. Um, I just peel them, cut them up into sticks so they look like french fries, and then I spray avocado oil on it, some salt, and roast it, and it is so good. It almost has like a slightly herbal, almost slightly fennel-like flavor to it, but it um, is nutty and earthy and tastes almost like a sweet potato and a carrot. It's just so good. This is another must try if you haven't had parsnips. The mini French baguettes are one of my favorite items and they are found in the frozen section. And I had to get the red bell pepper, garlic and Parmesan cream cheese spread. This is one of my favorite cream cheeses. And this is coming from someone who's not big on cream cheese. Like I enjoy it, but I don't have it in my refrigerator at all times. But I love this flavor. It's so good on sandwiches. So when I see it, I get it until they no longer sell it for the season. And I'm so excited to try the garlic and Asiago cheese dip. I've seen so many reviews on it and I love seeing that cheese pull. So very excited to try this with the uh, mini french baguettes and i also might pair it with some marinara sauce too we'll see or even use the leftover for pasta but very excited to give that a try picked up a bag of organic shredded kale this is a staple item i saute it and eat it for breakfast or throw it into smoothies and the fall harvest salsa this is so good it includes pumpkin apples and butternut squash so it is a sweet salsa and i get it a couple times throughout the fall season had to pick up more eggs and my favorite fall item, the delicata squash. I pick up a few every week. I wash them and then I cut them up and put them in a container. And then I pull them out throughout the week and put it on a baking sheet and roast them. Spray it with some avocado oil and salt. So for those that don't know, you can grab stickers when you're checking out. Just ask your cashier and they will give you some. And I like to pick them up from time to time just to show you guys the cute seasonal ones. And they are completely free by the way. Also picked up the pumpkin and apple yogurt. I was surprised that they were still there because last year they were only at my store for like two weeks and they were gone. So I picked up two more while they are still here. And this is the first year I picked up the mini cinnamon whisk broom and I was super excited to try it. I already opened it and put it in my car, but I remember in previous years, people going on about how strong it smelled so much so that I didn't buy it. And I'm kind of regretting it because this year's batch smells very faded. Moving along to the pumpkin tortilla chips. This is one of my favorite tortilla chips that Trader Joe's sells. This definitely has a prominent pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg flavor, but it's not overpowering. Pair this with the fall harvest salsa and it's such a yummy snack. And also another thing you can pair with the fall harvest salsa is the mini spicy pumpkin samosas, which aren't really spicy by the way. It's just more flavorful. 
and I am excited to try the sweet and savory lightly spiced pumpkin spread this year. I don't know why it says savory. I did try it and I will show you guys in just a few seconds on what this looks like and tastes like. Definitely not savory though. I literally can't believe I've been sleeping on the pumpkin bread mix for years, but I've been craving it and I was debating whether to get it from Starbucks, but like a slice at Starbucks is probably the same cost as a box from Trader Joe's. And so I decided to get it and I'm so glad I did because it turned out amazing. I highly recommend getting this if you guys haven't tried it. It is really sweet, which is the only complaint I have about it, but honestly, it is so good. You could totally dial down the sweetness by adding butter or cream cheese to it, but honestly, it's so good just on its own. It was soft, moist, and fluffy, and the pumpkin flavor was spot on. It didn't have like a strong pumpkin spice flavor, but it tasted like pumpkin. And I wanna show you guys the difference between the pumpkin spread and the pumpkin butter. So the pumpkin spread, again, I don't know why they called it sweet and savory because it definitely is really sweet and it has more of like a gelatinous jelly-like consistency, whereas the pumpkin butter, it's like a bit more thick and creamy. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison, but if I have to pick the pumpkin spread, is sweeter, but honestly, they're both very sweet. The pumpkin butter has a very strong pumpkin spice flavor that comes through, whereas the pumpkin spread doesn't have all of the pumpkin spice flavors. It only has cinnamon in it. I think this will pair really well with like a cheese board or add it into a sandwich for like a sweet and savory combination or even pairing this with like a gamey meat like lamb. And now for the pumpkin butter, I think this paired the best with the pumpkin bread and it really brought out the pumpkin flavors. Now back to the haul, there is a new scented candle tin trio that came out, like the fall edition. It has autumn leaves, maple sugar, and spiced chai. I was so excited for these scents that I immediately grabbed it and I couldn't really smell it when I was at the store because there weren't any testers, but my favorite so far is the autumn leaves. The maple sugar is second, and the spiced chai is actually very mild even after burning it for two hours, but I think that might be a good one for the kitchen because it's not too overpowering. And the pumpkin cream cheese spread. I'm always hesitant to buy it, even though I end up always buying it every fall, and that's because I never finish it, mm -hmm. It's not because I don't like it, I love it. It tastes exactly like pumpkin cream cheese, but I'm more into savory bagels, and so that's why it's hard for me to finish. But I thought this would pair really well with pumpkin bread, kind of like my take on the Starbucks cream cheese pumpkin muffin. It was a little bit hard to spread on the pumpkin bread, but it really was a yummy combo. But still, my favorite is just eating the pumpkin bread on its own because it's just so good. Now onto the pumpkin biscotti. I was hemming and hawing whether to get this or not, even though I really wanted it. And it's because it's just, I have so many snacks and I hate wasting them and you know I don't wanna throw them away, but I just couldn't help myself. And I finally tried it this year. In previous years, some people have said that this tasted like gingerbread cookies, but honestly, I didn't get that at all. It tastes really indistinct, like almost like a butter cookie. I could barely taste the pumpkin spice in it, but it was so good and I'm so glad I got it. It wasn't overly sweet. I paired it with coffee, as you can see um, on the right. I think this will also be really good crushed up and used as a yogurt topping on like the pumpkin yogurt or even the harvest apple or honey crisp apple yogurt. So I thought the maple spice nutmegs was already sold out at my store and I went to another location and found it. So. I had to get one and it is so good. I'm so glad I didn't sleep on these. It is sweet, they're so crispy and crunchy and here is what it looks like. It also comes with like a silica gel packet so it absorbs moisture so that it retains its crispiness. So you have pumpkin seeds, dried cranberries, almonds and pecans. So the predominant flavor obviously is maple, but the more you eat it, it kind of gets muted and it just becomes this sweet, crunchy goodness. And the red and black pepper, there's like a warmthness to it, like the more you eat it. It's not necessarily spicy, but just like a warmth that slowly builds and kind of lingers. It's so good on its own, but you could use this as a topping to yogurt or oatmeal too. Got the pumpkin butternut squash bisque. This is one of my favorite fall soups along with the harvest chili. 
and I like to add spinach to it. And I also got a dozen eggs. So that concludes my Trader Joe's haul. And now on to the bonus Costco haul. I picked up my favorite MV apples. I love getting them from Trader Joe's, but they're just a better deal at Costco and Sam's Club. But honestly, I think after this bag, I'm going to just get the single ones back at Trader Joe's because I'm noticing that they just don't taste the same as Trader Joe's. It's like a little less crunchy and a little bit softer on the inside. So I definitely will be uh, going back to Trader Joe's for the MV apples, even though they cost more. And always pick up nuts at Costco because again, it's a better deal. So these are the organic whole cashews, unsalted and unroasted. And I like to roast them up at like 290 degrees in my little toaster oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and they come out perfect. Also love organic pecans. That's great for baking or snacking. And this is my first time getting the ultra clean detergent. This was on sale and I decided to give it a try. Also on sale is the Kleenex soothing lotion. So I picked up that to stock up for the winter. And I saw this on Instagram about a month ago floating around, but I never saw it at my store until this week. And it is the Twisted Frozen Yogurt. It comes in three different flavors and it is 100% Australian. And I wanted to give it a try. It's 95 calories per cup. So I thought, so I thought this might be a light, fun dessert after dinner. And let's take a look at the three different flavors. So this is the blueberry lemon cheesecake, which actually turned out to be my favorite flavor. This definitely reminded me of the frozen yogurt back in like the 90s or early 2000s, where Froyo was like a big hit. It tastes very low fat and light. And this is the chocolate cookie. That one tasted good also. And the watermelon mango. All the flavors tasted really mild and low fat. So you could totally add toppings if you wanted to. Jazz it up a little bit. So that's it for the hauls this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Until the next video. Ciao guys.